Hey guys, BiosPass303 from YouTube. This is a quick tutorial on how to remove your lost or forgotten Windows password. Things that you'll need for this is a blank CD, offline Windows registry and password editor, and image burn. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this website, pogostick.net. I'm just going to copy it and go into our browser. What you want to do is just paste that into your browser or enter it, whatever you want to do. Hit enter. Go to this website. What you want to do is scroll down. Now we want to go to boot disk. Okay, so click on boot disk. All right, once you click on boot disk, you want to go down to uh, the section where it says download and you want to download the bootable CD image that's uh, the file name cd110511.zip alright so you want to click that and download it alright so now that you've downloaded the offline NT password and registry editor you can exit out of your browser and then we're gonna go to image burn and we're going to copy this and go into the internet again okay now we're on the image burn website what you want to do from here is you want to click on download then click mirror one and that'll bring you to a separate page and then from there you you just uh, click this little arrow and it'll start downloading it. Okay, mine's downloaded, so I'm just gonna click on that and click run. And I'll just give it a second to start up. Okay, image burn setup. Alright, um, just click next accept the terms of the license agreement next 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 and then click no okay image burn is complete okay now now that the installation is complete click run image burn and what you want to do from here is you want to click um, actually what you need to do first is you need to put your blank CD in your CD drive so if you haven't done that already make sure you put your blank CD in your CD drive and then click this uh, this option write image file to disk now since you're since you're in this um, this option what you want to do is you want to click on source this is please select the file then click uh, the little folder on the right hand side and you have to find wherever you downloaded that um, that CD110511 that file and what you want to do is you want to just double click that so now it's got the uh, the ISO image and then from there you just you just click this option down here and burn it I've already burned my CD so I'm not going to do it but it's I mean it's pretty easy to do so I'm assuming that most of you will be able to do this without any problems okay now for the second part of the tutorial what you need to do is after you've uh, burned your CD you need to re restart your computer and let the CD load up it should start up on its own so um, just give it a couple minutes and it should it should boot into whatever it's going to boot into. It should show you everything. And the first screen that you'll see here is um, this is what you'll see when um, when the CD starts up. It'll say Windows Reset Password Registry Editor Boot CD. Um, from here, there's a couple options. You really don't want to mess with any of that. You just want to hit Enter and from there it'll take you to this next phase the next phase is just waiting for the CD to load up so um, 
just give it another minute or so and once once it's fully loaded it'll bring you to the next screen from there uh, it'll ask you to um, select your candidate windows partition now that would be this this one right here uh, the one the one that says boot on it is the correct selection usually it selects the right one for you already so what you could do is you could just you could just hit enter um, but if if it says boot on the second one you might have to type two and then hit enter but I'm pretty sure for most it's just gonna say one and that's that's why I I put a square around the one down here so for most of you I'd say 99 percent of you all you have to do is hit enter on the screen okay on the next one this is um this is step number two you want to select the path of your Windows um, uh, installation file and and uh, registry directory. Um, this program usually does this for you as well. So you'll see down here if it's correct, it'll say Windows System 32 config, and all you have to do is hit enter. You don't have to type anything; just hit enter. Now, for the next step it'll say select which part of the registry to load use predefined choices or list the files with with space as delimiter I think it says um, from there you just you just want to hit enter because um, the selection is already one as it was on the previous ones so it should already be set up for you correctly and all you have to do is just hit enter and that will uh, that will access the SAM password reset. Uh, reset. Okay, on on the the next step, which is step number three, it's um, it'll ask you. Uh, actually, it already loaded the hives. Loading the hives is just is just um, just using this SAM way of resetting the password. But anyways, um, it already selected one for you down here which is in the brackets so one's the one you, you want to choose which is edit user data and passwords so just hit enter again like like I said in the previous steps okay once that's loaded you should see all the user accounts on um, your computer this is a pretty important step because um, you actually need to type in the username um, of the password that you'd like to clear so in other words whatever whenever you start your computer up whichever username pops up is the one that you have to type in so in this case Tim is the only one that really pops up for instance so Tim is the one I'd want to select so what I do is I would just type right down here I'd type in uh, Tim uppercase T I am then I hit enter but it'll be different for you because everyone everyone has different usernames but um, just take note that you um, you be sure to to type the name as it's shown because um, because it's case sensitive Linux is case sensitive so if you if you take type all lowercase letters it might not work so make sure like in this case it was uh, it was uppercase T so just make sure you keep it uppercase okay once you've done that it'll give you a user edit menu from here you just want to type one and hit enter because that's what you want to do you want to clear uh, the user password okay now after after you hit enter it should say password cleared so um, what you'd want to do now is you want to type an exclamation point and hit enter and this will get you out of the user edit menu once you've uh, exited the user edit menu you have to type uh, Q and then you have to hit enter and this will quit the main menu so you're three quarters of the way there you're almost done so just type Q down here and hit enter okay now this is probably the most important step is uh, we need to save the changes made to the password 
So on step number four, you have to write back the changes and it says about to write files back. Do it and you have to you have to type Y and then hit enter. Um, th this will save the cleared password so in order for this to work you have to write the file back. Okay, this is just uh, this is kind of obsolete because because um, it already says edit complete. Most I think every time I've done this, it, it's never had a problem. So all you have to do on this option is just type N and hit enter. Okay, this is the last step. On the last step, what you want to do is you just type reboot right up here reboot and then you hit enter and and then be sure to take out the CD out of your CD drive um, because if you don't take it out it's gonna start this up again and then you're gonna have to do it all over again and um, so after you type reboot and hit enter you take the CD out and just let Windows load on its own and um, the password should be gone Thank you for listening and hopefully you guys are able to remove your passwords.